Collins and you have entered the DM Zone. I'm here visiting in Nashville, Tennessee with John Gosier and it's South Fox, is that right? South Fox and Film Hedge. I want to know all about that. Tell sure. Me. So um, I'll start with Film Hedge. Film Hedge sure. is a, a finance company, a fintech company that finances film and TV productions uh, with up to $20 million per production. Uh, and really what Film Hedge, the problem Film Hedge solves is we automate a lot of the analysis and um, underwriting that goes into allocating capital to mainstream Hollywood film and TV shows. So, so for instance, we get over a billion dollars in applicants every year looking for capital for films. These are films that you've seen in theaters on Netflix, Amazon, Hulu. so these are big movies. Um, and so maybe a hundred films a year. And um, just in taking the information using things like web forms and uh, allowing them to upload documents and allow, and then we can parse those documents using more sophisticated technology. Everyone thinks the value in our company is all those sophisticated things, pulling out, extracting numbers and using algorithms to make credit ratings. It's just uploading documents. That was the big innovation that really got us in, in, in the space. So sometimes you look at an industry and it looks like it's powerful and like it can't be changed, but there's some basic things that were missing in the film and TV world. And there's, there's still a lot more that are missing, you know, and I don't know what it's like on the, the music side, but it, to me, it, um, it seems like these are all industries that uh, have just sort of evolved without tech. And it's the few industries where tech is catching up to, you know, where they're at versus the other way around. And then separately uh, with Southbox, it's sort of uh, doing similar things, but at an earlier stage. Okay. So how do we help get producers get out the gate and get a mainstream uh, a, 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 a film or TV show that's of the budget of mainstream cinema onto screens? That's the problem that Southbox has. Oh yeah, because when you were talking earlier on stage with the seminar, there's just a big, long, slow process, and I know a little bit about it, but not enough as far as getting films produced, and then even once they're produced, getting them distributed or played, you know, uh, with everything else. Yeah, well, the secret in the in the professional sort of film world, and it's a little bit different when you're true indie, and I, I, I want to kind of make some caveats. Like, indie does not mean what it used to. Indie no. used to mean small. Correct. Really, indie now just means independently financed. So financed outside of Hollywood, but it can still be distributed by Hollywood. So, for, for example, a lot of the uh, smaller shows or things that you might not have never heard of that you see on Netflix, for example. Right, and a lot I notice, because I watch a lot of movies, yeah. is what I notice is that sometimes a leading actor, maybe one of the executive producers or one of the producers, and is that a way to start things as well, or maybe not? Yeah, not so much related to, 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 to what I'm talking about, but um, just that, that litany of, of, of productions where it might have mainstream people in it, it might not, but how did it end up in theaters? How did it end up in uh, um, on uh, these streaming platforms? Well, the secret is the distributors don't necessarily care about the things that you think they care about. What they want to know is that, the, that they are able to partner with productions that are definitively going to be finished on time, on budget, and uh, that are going to match sort of the pitch that they were presented at the beginning. Yeah. And if you can just do that, you're 95% of the way to they're getting... buying that a product that they know is going to look done when they exactly. it, then it's the product that they got excited exactly. about. Exactly. Most productions don't happen because the, uh, fi the filmmaker was unable to pull together all the financing. Mm -hmm. And that's not... The, the, the distributor still wants it. But if you can't produce it, then there's nothing for them to buy. <laughs> if you haven't got a film, then you got nothing <laughs> exactly. to show. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we started these two companies. Effectively, uh, Southbox starts at the beginning. Film Hedge picks up in the middle. Between the two, you've got essentially soup to nuts uh, film production. Finance. And you basically, this is your value. This is an innovation that is not ever thought about before. Am I correct, Hollywood? Just because, like I said, I know a little bit. Yeah. And first, you got to get a producer or something, or maybe a writer, the script, and they are, it takes forever. Well, I wouldn't say it, it's never been done before, never in this way. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, we have taken essentially two models, equity financing and debt financing. And we figured out a way for them to make to work together 
and also streamline a lot of the the inner workings of putting together film finance deals. And then we rely on the producers to do the creative part. So we are not a production company. We don't uh, get involved in that part. We trust them. We empower them with money. That's what we do. That's excellent. Now, if we have somebody out there that wants to contact you, how do we do that? Uh, best way would be John at filmhedge.com. And that's J O N. <laughs> J O N at F I L M H E D G E dot com. And uh, you can reach both companies that way. That's excellent. Well, thank you for spending time with me. And you have been in the DM zone. Come back soon.